ready hello last day we have discussed about the vedic mathematics and personally i want to tell you that vedic mathematics has no limits iski koi limit nahi hai ab beyond limit jaate hain jaise dusre mein jo hamare paas ek traditional calculation hota hai wo limited hai ki aapko usi mein karna hoga jabki vedic mathematics mein koi limits nahi hai jaise aapko yaad hoga last time maine aapko 89 ki ek table di thi bahut hi aaram se maine kiya tha the same table of 89 can be done in this way and it is comparatively easier than the previous one ye pehle ki apeksha zyada easy hai such as 89 can be written as 100 minus of 11 and as we discussed previously that this can be written as 1 1 bar 1 bar That is 89 is equal to this one. अब जब 89 नाइन इक्वल्स टू दिस वन हमारे पास है तो फिर सेम प्रोसीड्यूर हम यूज करेंगे जो हम लोगों ने लास्ट डे किया था दैट इज वी राइट हियर एट्टी नाइन नाउ वी सब ट्रैक्ट वी एड नाइन माइनस ऑफ वन एड इट वी गेट हियर एट एट माइनस वन सेवन सेवन माइनस वन सिक्स सिक्स माइनस वन फाइव फाइव माइनस वन फोर फोर माइनस वन थ्री थ्री माइनस वन टू टू माइनस वन वन एंड वन माइनस वन जी नाउ अगेन एट माइनस वन बिकम सेवन सेवन माइनस वन सिक्स सिक्स माइनस वन फाइव फाइव माइनस वन फोर फोर माइनस वन थ्री थ्री माइनस वन टू टू माइनस वन वन 1 minus 1 zero. Now we have zero here, and when zero is added to minus 1, we have the negative number, and therefore further we firstly compare it. Here we have zero. Zero plus 1 becomes 1. 1 plus 1 2. 2 plus 1 3. 3 plus 1 4. 4 plus 1 5. 5 plus 1 6. Six plus one seven and seven plus one eight. Now we have eight hundred one. Now, then in this case we have zero minus of one. That is, we take borrowing from here. We get here ten. Ten minus one becomes nine. Now here we have seven. Seven plus one eight. it is the table of 89 now it is comparatively easy from the previous one that is i want to tell you only this one that there is no limit we have different ways to achieve the same target ek hi target ko achieve karne ke hamare paas different ways ho sakte hain isliye aap ye mat sochein ki vedic mathematics jo hamara hai wo kisi limits ko compare बियॉन्ड लिमिट आप जाते बहुत सारे ऑप्शन हमारे पास हैं इट इज द ओसेंस ऑफ नॉलेज आपके पास जितनी जानकारी है आप जहां हैं उस हिसाब से उसका कैलकुलेशन आप कर सकते हैं नाउ ऑल ऑफ यू नो दैट जीरो फाइव होल स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव वी मे राइट हियर जीरो दैट इज फिफ्टीन स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू 225. Almost you know it well. Now, 25 square is equal to 625. You know it well. But when we continue this topic, continue this pattern, then we have problem. How can we solve it? But when we compare this, we want to find the ways such that we get it. We find that in the last two digit. is always 25 when the unit place is 5 secondly when we have zero here zero then we have zero one then we have two two then we have six that is if this zero is increased by one then we have here one and when one is multiplied by this zero we have zero 
but when this one is increased by 1 we get 2 and when this 2 is multiplied by 1 we get here 2 when this 2 is increased by 1 we get here 3 and when this 3 is multiplied by 2 we get here 6 then we have a pattern here that is when the tens place is increased by 1 tens place is increased by 1 and multiplied through the tens place then it form the 100 place or and the remaining one is 25 it does not matter what we get here now if we have here 3 3 5 whole square then this 3 is multiplied by 4 this 3 is multiplied by 4 we get here 12 and the remaining is 2 5 when we have here 5 5 whole square now we have 5 is multiplied by 6 then we get here 6 5 or 30 we write here 30 and we write here 2 5 as usual if we have here 7 5 to be power 2 here the tens place is 7 then 7 is multiplied by 8 that is one more than the 7 then 7 8 ja, we have 56 and the result is 2 5 is as is will copy and in this way we can write a number when we have the 5 on the ones digit and we want to find the square of the, that number if we have here 10 105 whole square then we have 10 increased by 1 we have here 11 11 10 ja. 110 2 5 is as is well copied if we have here 11 115 whole square here we have 11 11 is increased by 1 we get here 12 12 into 11 becomes 132 and 2 5 is as usual here that is we may continue it now here it is a specified case for 5 only but what is the adjective rule is here adjective rule says that if we have x y are the two digit and x z are the two z two digit and we want to multiply it and if the sum of y plus z is equal to 10 y plus z is equal to 10 then the product of this is x into x plus 1 and here the product of y z but we should remember it that the product of y z must be in two digit must be in two digit that is we take an example that shows that it is absolutely correct here here we have x y and here we have x z when the sum is y plus z is equal to 10 then the product of these two is equal to x into x plus 1 and the second part is y z y z is always expressed in two digit for example here if we take here 11 into 19 now here the ones digit tens digit are seen and the sum of the 1 plus 9 1 plus 9 is equal to 10 so that 1 9 is a 9 we write here 9 but we write in two digit then we write here 0 9 and 1 is increased by 1 that is 1 is multiplied by 2 we get 2 1 is a 2 that is the product of 11 and 19 is 209 similarly if we have 22 into 28 that here again the same criteria exists 2 plus 8 2 plus 8 is equal to 10 therefore the same result is here now again 2 8 jar 2 and 8 are multiplied together we write here 2 8 jar 2 8 jar 16 and this tens place 2 is increased by 1 we have 3 then then 3 is multiplied by this 2 we get here 3 2 ja 6 similarly if we have here 33 and 37 
we should remember one thing that the sum of the unit digit must be 10 if this criteria exists we can solve the same things we can write the same thing same procedure are used here then we have here 7 plus 3 equals to 10 7 plus 3 equals to 10 therefore the same criteria exists 7 3 ja. we write here 21 now 3 is increased by 1 that is 4 then 4 3 ja. we write here 12 the result is 1 2 2 1 that is 33 into 37 becomes 1 2 2 1 similarly if we write here 97 into 93 97 into 93 now we have here 7 plus 3 7 plus 3 is equal to 10 again therefore 7 3 is a 21 and here 9 is increased by 1 that is 10 9 is increased by 1 we have here 10 then this 10 is multiplied by 9 we get here 90 it means the same procedure is used same procedure is used and in this way we find that this and this although it is for it is unique as we get here 5, 25 as the last two digit because here the once digit is 5 but here once digit is not 5 only but we know that the sum of the once digit is 10 and whenever the sum of the once digit is 10 we get the same result although we have discussed it in previously like this one here 97 is multiplied by 93 now we have the base 100 base 100 then it is less than 100 by 3 we write here minus of 3 it is less than 100 by 7 and therefore we write here 7 now when we multiply these two we get 7 3 is a 21 and now here this plus of this that is 97 plus of minus 7 we get here 90 that is our result is 9021 and on the whole we get the same result that is the result are same well the procedure are quite differ here and in this way we observe that the same thing in Vedic maths in Vedic maths the same thing is explained in different ways and whatever we have the calculation at the nick of time at the point of time we can change our ideas to solve like this one okay have a nice day